Very handy tips right there. But now we're turning our attention to our four-legged friends. And man, do we have incredible breeds here this morning. Yes. The Great Dane, phenomenal gentle giants. We have Sam with us. She is a Great Dane breather. Just to give us a bit of insight into these magnificent animals. Sam, thank you so much for joining us and thank bringing you your... Uh, did you did you bring him in a bus and a truck? And a <laughs> in my Jeep. <laughs> in your Jeep this morning. Oh, yes. my word. They are absolutely gorgeous. So we have Isis and we have Venus here. How, how old are they now? Isis is almost five and Venus is 20 months. So 20 she, months. She's a baby. It's just a little baby. Yes. But man, look at the size of these dogs. And this is what's so impressive. <laughs> yes. I must ask you right there, are they are they aggressive at no. all? Because or do they they just have the stature? Because I'm gonna out one of our, our floor managers, Lucian. When he saw you this morning with the dogs, he literally went to hide around the corner. So they've, what is they've, what they've got a huge presence about them. They're strong, powerful dogs, but they've got the sweetest, gentlest, kindest natures. They're not known as the gentle giants for nothing. Okay. You know? They will sit on your lap. They'll come lie on your bed. They'll welcome everybody into your house. They're and, like, you know, they overgrown lap dogs. They are. They and think they are. I saw you backstage <laughs> earlier, and Isis just wanted to get on Sam's lap, no matter what, <laughs> just on the couch. Take us back in history a little bit. What's the origin of the breed? Because it's very, it's, it's quite an interesting one. Yes, they 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 come from the Irish Wolfhound and the yes. English Mastiff. They do okay. have a bit of Greyhound in them. They are dated back to ancient Egypt, ancient China. Um, the yeah. breed was basically established and recognized in the late 1900s um, yeah. and have evolved kind of into these. They were hunting dogs. Um, yeah. Now they're just basically lap dogs. Now they're just basically <laughs> lap dogs. So, so give us a bit of insight into you, why you became so involved. You've been involved with Great Danes for, for a number of years yes, now. Yes, yes. What, what is it about the breed that just attracts you to them? You know, they, they remind me a lot of my children. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they, they've got that playful, joyful nature. Yeah. They're quirky, they're goofy, um, but they're also they're big dogs. They, they're so lovable. Um, they climb into your heart and you just, once you've had a Dane, you yeah. can never go back to anything else. Exactly. Yeah. And, and what does it take to, to actually take care of them at home? Do you need big space? Because that's the first thing I would imagine, you need a big space. No. Really? No, you can have a Dane in a flat if you so desire. You need to walk them obviously about 20 minutes a day. Yeah. Um, Lots of attention. They don't like to be alone, so preferably have somebody with them. Yeah. They, they need company. They need their family. Um, they, they don't take a lot of work. Right. Puppies love to sleep most of the time. Okay. They wake up at about nine, ten months, and then you're in for a bit of a trouble <laughs> time. You know, when but they go them, through their teens. Yeah. And then they settle down <laughs> well, again. Well, just like any kid, you <laughs> yes, know. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, the, most of the energy within the first ten months obviously goes into their growing. Into because their growing. I can imagine that they eat a lot Penis. as well. They don't. If you feed them premium food, I'm way off this morning. <laughs> no, you're way off. You don't, they don't eat as much as you would expect them to eat. Really? They eat about a kilogram of food a day, which for a dog this size, you would go, oh, oh that's wow. That's not too bad. Yeah, exactly. You expect them to eat about five. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. As puppies, they eat a, a bit more because they've yeah. got all that growing to do. But as yeah. adult dogs, they, they slow Great. down on their eating. Sam, thank you so much. One piece of advice that you could give to, to viewers out there who, who would maybe consider getting a Great Dane. If you don't have patience yes. and you can't handle children, don't get a Dane. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, they are like kids. They and they are like kids. They would want to get on your bed, on your couch, on, on anything that's raised to be just be, close to you. And they want to be played with, so you need to get down there and play with them. Brilliant, Sam. Thank you so much. <laughs> and welcome. thank you to you guys coming in. Aren't they just adorable, massive dogs, gentle dines, true to their name, they live up to it. Right now, we're going to take a very quick ad break. If you want to know anything more about the Great Danes, of course, we'll put some info for you on our website, expressoshow.com. See you now. Catlejo's got nothing on Bob. Bobtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs.